वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिजिक्स इन गवर्नमेंट डूंगर कॉलेज बीकानेर इन माई लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एम एस सी प्रीवियस फिजिक्स आई एम डीलिंग विद फर्स्ट पेपर दैट इज क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स वी वर स्टडिंग कैनोनिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कैनोनिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मीन्स दैट we have to transform from old set of coordinates to a new set of coordinates old set of coordinates are denoted by small qj small pj and new set of coordinates are denoted by capital qj and capital pj to check whether the given transformation is canonical or not we have studied exact differential condition now today we will discuss bilinear invariant condition to prove that the given transformation is canonical what does bilinear invariant condition states it states that the form summation small pj dqj minus delta qj dpj this must remain invariant what does here invariant means that this factor which we have defined in old set of coordinate this factor must must remain in the same form when it is defined in new set of coordinates that means for proof of canonical transformation we have to show that del pj dqj minus del qj dpj this is equal to similar factor when expressed in new set of coordinate so i am going to prove this condition we have already discussed hamilton canonical equation of motion there are two n number of canonical equation of motion they are of first order and these equations state that qj not equal to dh upon del pj pj so what does qj not means it means dqj upon dt hence it can be expressed as dqj equal to del h upon del pj dt the second transformation equation is pj not equal to minus del h upon del qj so we have dpj to be minus del h upon del qj dt we know that hamiltonian canonical equation of motion they remain invariant under canonical transformation this means the form of expression in old and new set will remain same so we can express these expression in our new set of coordinate as here bus here just a simple change is that small qj is expressed as capital qj and similarly small pj is expressed as capital pj now these first and second equation they are satisfied simultaneously and we have arbitrary del qj and del pj so multiplying first expression by del pj we can have del pj dqj minus del h upon del pj dt similarly from the second expression multiplying it by del qj i have minus del qj dpj plus del h upon del qj dt now i am taking first term and third term in a single bracket and remaining two terms that means this second term and fourth term they are taken in another bracket 
Now we can see that this expression here in the first term I have derivative of h with respect to pj and there is this is multiplied by del pj. Similarly the second term is variation of h with qj and it is multiplied by del qj. So this terms is the variation of Hamiltonian that means del h. Here we have taken that our generating function it does not contain time and we have already shown in our previous lectures that when there is no dependence on time then old and new Hamiltonian are same. So we can express our third expression in terms of new coordinates as where we have simply replaced capital small coordinates by capital coordinates. That means small pj is capital pj here and small qj is capital qj. But h remains same because f does not depend on time. So we have third and fourth expression. On comparing these two expressions we can see that these terms which are del pj tqj minus del qj dpj this is similar to the term del capital pj dqj minus del qj dpj this is the bilinear invariant form so in order to show that whether the transformation is canonical or not we have to prove this by bilinear invariant condition now to make it more clear i am discussing one problem i have to show that the transformation given by capital p capital q is equal to 1 upon p and capital p equal to q p square this is canonical now here i have given uh, i am giving you the problem in capital q p coordinates so i have to solve this term and we have to show it in old coordinate form. I am finding the derivatives dq will be minus 1 upon p square dp and similarly del q will be minus 1 upon p square del p. Now from the capital P expression dp will be 2q p dp plus p square dp dq similarly i have obtained the expression of del p now obtaining these value i am putting them in the bilinear invariant condition bilinear invariant condition on solving this condition i get the value del p dq minus del q dp so this shows that the given transformation is canonical transformation so students we have discussed two methods to show that the given transformation is canonical or not first method is exact differential condition and the second method which we have discussed today is the bilinear invariant condition now i am going to discuss in five smell contact transformation in contact or canonical transformation we have taken a change from old set of coordinates to new set of coordinates that means we are going we are going from small qp coordinate to capital qp coordinate but here the transformation here there will be a transformation in which old and new set of coordinates they differ slightly in fight smell means small change that means there will be a very slight change in old and new set of coordinates if i am taking my generating function to be 
समीशन ओवर जे स्मॉल क्यू जे कैपिटल पी जे एंड सिंस इट इज द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ जनरेटिंग फंक्शन आई एम टेकिंग द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन ऑफ द सेकेंड फॉर्म विच आर स्मॉल पी जे इक्वल टू डेल एफ टू अपॉन डेल क्यू जे सो डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग एफ टू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू स्मॉल क्यू जे आई विल गेट इट टू बी कैपिटल पी जे दैट मीन्स न्यू मोमेंटा एंड ओल्ड मोमेंटा दे आर एग्जैक्टली सेम नाउ ऑप्टेनिंग अनदर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन विच इज कैपिटल क्यू जे इक्वल टू डेल एफ टू अपॉन डेल कैपिटल पी जे आई गेट स्मॉल क्यू जे दैट मीन्स ओल्ड एंड न्यू कॉर्डिनेट दे आर एग्जैक्टली सेम सो इफ आई यूज दिस फॉर्म ऑफ जनरेटिंग फंक्शन देन इट विल जनरेट आइडेंटिटी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट हेयर इन in fight smell contact transformation i am in need that my old and new coordinates they differ slightly in order to do this i am modifying my generating function let my new generating function f be summation small q j capital p j plus epsilon capital g which is a function of small q and small p in small q and capital p here epsilon is a function it is an independent parameter and g is a arbitrary function this is the second form of generating function since it depends on small q and capital p again i am solving the transformation equations of second form the transformation equation is capital q j equal to del f2 upon del capital p j differentiating my expression i get small q j epsilon del g upon del capital p j similarly the second expression here we can see that there is a change in coordinates they are not exactly same earlier capital q j was exactly equal to small q j now by choosing a new generating function a change of the factor epsilon del g upon del p j is introduced similarly here in momenta a change which is equal to epsilon del g upon del q j is introduced now since we know that capital p j and small p j between these coordinates there is a small change so what we are doing we are replacing capital p j by small p j since function g depends on small q j capital p j we are replacing this capital p j to small p j so i can get the change in coordinates as del q j will be equal to epsilon del g upon small q j since we have replaced capital by small and similarly here i get del small p j equal to minus epsilon del g upon del q j g being function of small q j and small p j now since we have changed our generating function from f to g now g will be termed as the generating function of in fight smell contact transformation whereas f is the function generating function of contact transformation now i am putting epsilon to be dt and let g to be equal to h 
So, from the first equation which was del qj equal to epsilon del g upon del small pj making the changes. Here I am using the Hamilton canonical equation of motion in which del upon h upon del pj it is qj dot. qj dot means dqj upon dt. So, dt cancels out it is dqj that means partial variation of qj this is equal to dqj and similarly from the second expression del pj and putting epsilon to be dt and instead of g to be h i get del pj to be equal to dpj now here i have make the transformation from old set of coordinate small qj small pj to small qj plus del qj plus uh, sorry pj plus del pj at a particular time t and we can see that variation the variation of qj comes out to be exactly the same change in qj Similarly, the variation in pj comes out to be the exact change in pj. This is obtained by taking our generating function to be equal to Hamiltonian. Hence, we can say that in fight smell contact transformation are generated by Hamiltonian. That means Hamiltonian is the generator of system motion. So, canonical transformation can be obtained by two methods, bilinear invariant condition or exact differential condition and the another problem which is of infinite smell contact transformation here the generating function will be changed from f to g and here the old and new coordinates they are not exactly the same but they differ only slightly and by taking our generator as Hamiltonian we get a motion of system in which the variation in coordinates is exactly the same as variation actually happens that means del qj will be equal to dqj and del pj will be equal to dpj thank you students for watching